Hi guys, have you subscribed to this Donna Dewberry channel? Well, I'm thrilled to come on and share with you lots of lessons, but to do that, I need you to subscribe and go to notifications and ring the bell so that you're notified when I'm coming on. I have lots of special free streaming lessons that are great for you to come on live with me. So please go do that and stay tuned for the lesson. Good morning. I'm ex I'm excited. I always say I'm excited or thrilled, but I am happy to be with you guys and to create something new today. I hope you enjoyed. It's a quick little drawing, uh, painting simplicity, which is a fun thing. So, like a couple little tricks that you need to learn, and the rest of it um, is how you place it and placing and putting colors together. So any of the strokes that you might not feel comfortable with, make sure that you go to on Fridays and watch my practice strokes because there's most of the strokes you can find there. And I go simple, simple steps to make that happen. And I'd love for you to join my one stroke advantage group. And it's a membership group and it's $9.95 a month. And what you get is just one thing that you get is four lessons during the month. And those lessons are you're paying about $2.50 a lesson. And I'm teaching you many, many things and steps that you can learn to uh, grow your one stroke knowledge. I also am giving you a 10% discount on all products on my website, which is onestroke.com by being a member. And we give you a new code each month that you are a member. And you can also, if you take any of my paid lessons, you get an additional 10% off this. So I just would love for you all to check it out and see what you think. And I am ready to go. What about you? So let's look at the overhead cameras. So we're using multi-surface paint. This is multimedia paper and it's called gray tones. This is just a little bit of a color that I thought would be good for a wong, so we're going to do a front door with the wong and some greenery. And so we're using multi surface, folk art multi surface paint. And you don't really need a multi surface for paper, but it's a nice acrylic paint and it works. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to kind of sketch where I want the door to be. All right. So, and then that's the top of the door. And then there's a stoop out front here. All right, so I'm just using a mechanical pencil that's got a white eraser that's blue, <laughs> but it erases like a white eraser. And then, so I'm just going to do a door. And so what I'm going to do is come down here to the doorway and come over here and put another line there. All right, so this is just going to be like an old stucco wall, and I'm using this color for that back wall area. And then I'm going to come across the front of this with some medium, and this is medium blue on my three quarter inch brush. All right, so I'm gonna come right down here and the medium is gonna help me move. Okay, I'm, I want texture on there a little bit. So the floating medium and my blue. Floating medium is a fluff that's inside paint with no pigment. And so it's as fluffy as paint is, but it has no color in it. Okay. So I'm gonna come right down the side here. And then I'm gonna come across the bottom. There we go. You see this texture is a good thing. All right, the texture. And we're going to keep picking up paint. Oops. This is paper, so I'm not going to worry about it going over there a little bit. I'll just put the greenery there. But where you know that you're going to see it, you're going to be more careful. Okay. Now, a little bit of this is going to be, let's come along here. 
All right, so we want a little bit of light. So I'm gonna get this medium on the brush with some blue. And the blue is already in the brush. We're just picking up some white. So I'm gonna come across here because that's where the light would hit it. I'm going to touch little spots here and that's just where the light is going to be shining through the greenery. Okay, you see a little bit of light there? All right, now I am gonna come here on the stoop a little bit and get some burn umber and floating medium, which is burn umber and coffee latte. And I'm gonna come a little bit down here, back and forth. Come out a little bit. All right, so that's just the entrance. Then what you're gonna have is a little bit of brown here and there. Oops. That's way too much brown. So one of the things I can do is uh, it's more than I wanted so I can wipe off a little bit of it. There we go. So we just have it's a weathered looking door. All right. And I'm gonna come right along here All right, this paper, when it's wet, it warps just a little bit, but it's not bad. All right, so what happens is that there will be a few hinges here. So we're gonna pick up, this is a 10, and I'm gonna come across here and back. A little bit on the wall here. And we have another place right up here. And we come a little bit out here. Okay. And we're used to the hinges being on the other side, but on here. We're going to put a little bit. We'll just put a little bit of detail there. All right. So most of it, what we're doing on most of this is getting some shading in here. All right. And then what I want, the gray is going to help us because it's already going to give us some color. But then I'm going to put a little bit of a blue pot over here. So this comes up here. It's going to have some of this greenery I want to put on here. Are y'all taking a relaxing deep breath? This is called relax and paint because I just want you to watch it and see if it's something you think, oh, that looks good. I think I can paint that. That's the goal here. I'm gonna go back here first and then we're gonna come in front, okay. All right, I'm gonna come down a little bit closer. And okay, so what's gonna be down here is a little bit of greenery down here. A little bit of brown across the bottom. All right. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take a little bit of a liner and we're going to bring some white around here on the back. And it's going to come around.
Okay. All right, so what I want to do is I have a lot of greenery that's going to be coming up here and I'm not going to spend time doing a bunch of the wall because I'm going to use this color as the wall back there because when we get through we're going to have a lot of pretty color in here. Now I'm going to come along here with this is teal and a little bit of citrus mixed in with the teal. All right, well, we can come in here with some blues. All right, so I like, you have to have dark to see light. So I like that we have some darkness behind there. And then what we're going to do is put a lot of greenery on top. But this has some nice colors in the back that are darker. So we're going to use light, pretty colors on top. So we're going to take this. This is also the number 10. And this might be a secret garden that you can't get into because all this, unless the door opens in, which it doesn't look like it opened in, then this is going to be all with the hinges, the hinges would pull out. And guess what? <laughs> with all this greenery here, it doesn't pull out. Okay, so there we go. So citrus, teal, and some little bit of that medium blue that we use. And it shows just a little bit of blue here and there. A little bit here and there like it's on the wall in the back. All right. So let's look at this a little bit more. And so I'm going to pick out some. These are fun little. You pull it out and play around. And do a small little canvas. You know, figure out some really simple steps. All right. So I'm on the chisel of the 10 with coffee latte and burn umber. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of brown tapped in here to get some depth. Okay. So we're going to take some across and, and so I just keep picking up the coffee latte and the burn number. Okay. We're going to bring some up here. All right. So that's just giving you some, um, areas that you can come through here and put some greenery. So I'm going to use a smaller brush, which is an eight. And I might even get something smaller a little bit later, like the six. All right. So what's going to happen here is I'm just going to get some medium and just get some teal first. Teal. And so this is long slender leaves. All right. And you're getting a watercolor look with little. I've got little teeny long strokes. And so sometimes I have it a little bit darker and sometimes I have it a little bit thinner. Okay, so I'm picking up All right, that brush is a very good brush. Look, 
that another eight is newer. So medium and two. Okay, we just keep getting medium and pick, picking this up. And all of this is underneath. All right, so I'm going to wipe it. And then I have some more darker. So here's sap, medium and sap. This, this sap's a little thicker, so I'm going to break that up. And all right, so it's got a few darker green goes underneath, and then the lighter green is going to come on top. Okay, I'm going to do one, two, three. All right, so this medium helps this the leafing do better. Now all of this underneath, remember I said you have to have dark to see light. All of this is really, really underneath. All right. Okay, so, so far that looks um, like spiky, but what I want to have, I want to bring in some wicker white and citrus. Okay, some wicker white and citrus on this eighth. And I'm going to <clears throat> pull this down and I'm going to put all this pretty green in here. So let's go down and look at this. Okay, so now we're going to see all the light green. It's bringing in some really pretty color. So this is just really light colors. So see, as you're looking at that, it's just lots of light strokes. And we're going to pull lots of white in here. We have some wisteria hanging in here. Okay. And so we get some green up here. So I can 
I can slip slap here and it just looks like it's like greenery growing there and a little bit in here. All right, so you're getting some lightness. And a little bit over here. So it's the citrus and the white. Okay. And a little bit in here. Okay, so what what happens that makes it look nice is that this has some shading in it. And so to get that shading to uh, be darker blues a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of this medium blue with a little bit of the Prussian blue and the medium. So I'm working that in. And so this has got some darker blue in here. So we're going to come up here. All right, so little bits of dark. This is kind of like watercolor effects. All right, so see how the darker part of the blue is in there? It's got some darker blue in here a little bit. And little bits, if I take the, oops, oops, I didn't mean to grab that white. If I took this and I'm having some blue back in here, little bits, when this all dries and you take some blue in the background, see that? Makes it look a lot more watercolor, right? Just floating medium and blue. All right. So before I put any wisteria hanging in here, I just want you to see that it came in here with some white. Okay. Okay. So just light, airy looks is what we want to have. So now I'm going to take a smaller brush and let's get a little bit more of this greenery here. So it is a little bit of the citrus green and a little too. So what's going to happen is up underneath. We're going to do three strokes, one, two, and then one in the middle, kind of giving you that ivy effect. Okay, so wiggle out to the point, to the point. So see the little green in here. All right, so those are all darker green. And then all we do is come on top of this with citrus and white. See this? Okay. And we're going to come right on top. And a little bit of white.
Okay. So those are just little green leaves, darker green than lighter green. And then all we're gonna do is put little teeny flowers. And we're gonna use a small, this is a six and we're gonna come right here. And pull little, five little petals. Little pot, five petal flowers. And little wisteria is going to finish this piece off. So look at this. One, two, three, and then two side. So let's do it here where it's darker. One, two, three, four, five. Do the bigger blossoms down at the bottom. Okay, so then all I'm doing is putting a little bit of yellow on that. But before I do that, for the centers, is I'm going to pick up the purple. And we're just going to tap this purple. This is a six with violet pansy. And we're going to tap it coming down. All right, so the isosine purple and some white. And we're going to tap, tap up here. And this is just a little bit of wisteria. All right. We have three kind of going here. And so they're just little teeny dabs of white on top of the purple. Put a little bit darker purple in here. Violet pansy, little bits of white. All right, so I don't think I'll see that up there too well. Just little teeny bits of purple. And then we have another one in here. So if I just tap the dark purple first, and then, and it needs to look like it's hanging. And then we just come in with some white and tap some white in here. So I tap the purple first, violet pansy, and then we just pat, tap some white coming down on top. So let's go back a little bit so you can see the purple. A little blurry, we gotta let this focus in a little bit. And last thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of yellow into the centers. All right, so we'll do uh, I was looking for moon yellow, but we'll use some daffodil yellow. And I'm just going to pick up and put the centers right inside all these little flowers. Little teeny flower centers. This is a one script liner, the smaller one. Okay, and here we go. So now let's look at the purple. See a little purple hanging? This is all citrus green. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of shading at the end. I hope you like today's little class. I'd love to see what you turn yours into. 
little bit of darkness here, a little bit of medium. A little bit of entrance. We get, need a little bit of dark coming in there so that you can see the watercolor effects that we're going to get a little bit under here. A little bit along here. And you can take and just slip, 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 slip a little bit of greenery. Back and forth, back and forth, slip, 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 slip. There we go. So isn't that kind of fun? I'm telling you, you can let some of this kind of hang it out of here. All right, spilling over just a little bit. All right, a little bit of dark green down here. Okay, so see how that dark down there just set it off a little bit. And to end it with um, little bits of specks, a little bit of uh, a little bit of white in there. And there you go. I'll show you the picture and see what you think. Thank you very much. Talk to you. Talk to you later. Bye bye.